हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बट्टा फास्ट मैं हूं अहमद अकबी और आज मेरे साथ एक बहुत ही खसूसी मेहमान जो काफ़ी मैं आपको एक थोड़ा सा तवील तारुफ देना चाहूँगा नाम है इनका एहसन भट्ट और एहसन भट्ट का जो जो मेरे ऊपर बहुत बड़ा एहसान है कि जब मैंने कराची खटमल डॉट ब्लॉक स्पॉट डॉट कॉम शुरू किया था तो उस जमाने में मैं कॉमेंट करता था एहसन और कुछ लोगों ने फाइव रुपीज़ के नाम से एक ब्लॉक हुआ था उसकी कॉमेंट्स बेसिकली ट्विटर बिफोर ट्विटर था कि उसमें कुछ रोज पोस्ट होता लोग लड़ाइयाँ कर रहे हैं और मीन्स डाल रहे हैं ये कर रहे हैं कर रहे हैं और एहसन कंट्रोल करता था तो बेसिकली अपने जमाने का ये ईलॉन मास्क था और अब अब एहसन और मैं दोनों चालीस साल के हो चुके हैं और हमने बिल्कुल अंकल वाली हरकतें शुरू कर दी हैं आई हैव अ क्रिकेट पॉडकास्ट एंड एहसन हैज दॉट के जी एस अंकल पॉडकास्ट इज विच इज अ कॉलम इन डॉन ऑन क्रिकेट सो एहसन वेलकम टू द शो थैंक्स फॉर डूइंग दिस वाई Thank you for having me. And after that introduction, you know, I think I'm only going to let your audience down. There's no way to go but down from that. Hey, <laughs> hey, there's, there's, there's that painting that हम लोग उसके बारे में भी थोड़ी बात करेंगे. But the ऐसे के साथ में करना चाह रहा था कि हम लोग जो ये बहुत खूबसूरत साल गुजरा है 2023 in Pakistan cricket. उसके बारे में हम लोग एक you know review कर सकें. ऑब्वियसली uh, एक बहुत बड़ी खबर कुछ ही दिनों पहले आई है विच इज दख्तर अशरफ का यू नो लाइक लाइक आई गेस वेरी कंटेम्प्रेरी जका अशरफ इन 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 द सेंस दैट वॉज एक्सप्लोजिव एंड इज वेरी ब्रीफ विच वर्क वेल फॉर पाकिस्तान सो ऐसे जस्ट लेट से इन लाइक इन 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 लेवल एंड इन द ओरिजिनल ट्वीट कैपेसिटी वन फॉर्टी कैरेक्टर्स Uh, described last year for uh, shambolic, uh, disastrous, uh, mentally taxing, physically taxing, emotionally वर्ल्ड कप ऑफ टेस्ट क्रिकेट So I don't know if I run out of 140 characters, but that's how I would sum it up. You run out of 140 characters a while ago. Like, is some kind of hashtag we need to say? Yeah, no, it's just uh, it was just yeah, it was just a disastrous year all around. I, like, I mean, I'm sure we're going to get into it in detail, but uh, it was one of the worst. It's one of the worst years of Pakistani cricket I can remember in a long oh, time. Okay, give me, give me. जो सबसे तीन सबसे गिन इन्होंने लम्हात जो पिछले साल के वो give me your three worst moments. Oof. Yeah, Abhi. I think because Oscars की जो nomination आई है, I think we have to adopt a similar framework of categories because otherwise yeah, yeah. it gets yeah. too unwieldy. So we can have like an on-field low moment. We can have an off-field low moment. We Excellent. We can have an online low moment. Excellent. On field low moment, I would say probably a tie between losing to Afghanistan in the World Cup, uh, losing to India by like three hundred runs in the Asia Cup, uh, and that uh, Abdullah Shafiq drop catch in the second Oof. test. Beautiful. Uh, What a list. Those are the three I remember probably. When you say like bad things that happened in cricket this year, those are the three things. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, this, this, this. Yeah, this is Shilu. So Afghanistan, Mali, defeat. Ah, what was? Yeah, how how did that hit you? Because if I if I'm, I mean, one way to say, let me just lay out the case here, right? That Afghanistan, in front of Pakistan, is a very ah unrealistic run. मतलब hmm. उनकी टीम हमारी जितनी अच्छी थी हमसे ज्यादा बेहतर थी कुछ चीजों में और बहुत अच्छे से बहुत अच्छा खेल रहे थे और पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ ही जाके वो काफी हैरान कन तरीकों में हार चुके थे द लेटेस्ट एग्जांपल बीइंग इन द एशिया कप राइट बट नसीम का देयर अगेन सो कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड लाइक व्हाट वाज द लो लाइट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ I think I agree with you. Okay, you know this was a long time coming. Uh, this was not a surprise. Uh, I suppose it was really bad timing. Like I would have liked. Cause I think we had a three three ODI series or something in August. अगर वहाँ हार जाते तो थोड़ा बेहतर होता. I think. लेकिन वो three nil जीत के फिर World Cup जा के हारना. I think was a bit uh, was a bit much. Especially because it sort of 
destroyed our ability to qualify for the semi. Uh, that was essentially our last realistic sort of chance. After that, it was like, ye hoga to, ye hoga to, wo hoga to, and you know, the usual Pakistan tournament, you know, which is just, you know, I just, I just find that stuff so annoying. So yeah, it was sort of the death sentence for our World Cup hopes. Uh, it was also a very sort of, uh, I think, clear enunciation of where we stand in the world of cricket, uh, where our white ball skills stand, uh, you know. Uh, so so that was definitely a big loss. I don't care that much about, oh, you know, rivalry or why aren't they quote-unquote grateful? I, I, I'm not like a Pak nationalist. I'm not a Pak cricket nationalist. Like, important you know, important uh, thing to point out. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's, so this is not me saying, oh, Afghanistan is the eternal enemy and we should not lose to them. It's not that. It's more they sort of ended our World Cup and they did it in a pretty professional and a, like it was not, it was not that last ball, pe jeet rahe hai, ya, you know, koi collapse hai. you know, they, they dominated us essentially for 75 overs and it was not really close. Uh, so I'll remember that sort of low moment. I'll remember that moment as sort of our, the moment as which our World Cup ended. They're obvious enough why they suck. So we'll go to the next category, off-field lowlights. Off-field, I would say it would have to be Zaka Ashraf. I mean, that's just an obvious, I hate to be obvious, but just his ascension to this role, which I'm sure we're going to get into. Uh, but, you know, by all accounts, Usman Samirin on your own podcast said that he was worse than Ajaz Bhatt, which is, you know, I mean, if that's your standard, then... That's the gold standard. That is the gold standard, very much so. Uh, you know, having lived through uh, Naseem Ashraf and Ajaz but I never, ever, ever thought that we would look back on those days as the good old days. Uh, but, you know, so be it. Uh, and then and then the online worst moment would have to be connected again. I w- it would probably be the Zaka Ashraf audio leak. It would be a tie. I would say it's a tie between the audio leak and the press release from the PCB in the middle Which of one? the world. The, the, oh. the, one where they, the one where they told Babar and Mickey that you guys are going to be 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 going and you know do what you have to you have to do what you have to in the next four matches mein, but uh, you know it's a little bit of a game. I have in the middle of the world. I in fact this is uh, this is this these are these are good options, but maybe ye jo academy ko bhi masla hua tha ke I feel um, th- these are really run of the mill considerations. <laughs> <laughs> Except even the World Cup one, you you chose you chose the less chutia <laughs> thing to go with because here, here's the here's my set of nominations. You ke usi World Cup ke dauran, aapne ek to ye kaptan ke saath kya hi kya? Aapne ka who is the most lovable character in the Pakistani cricket cinematic universe? I know Shoaib Jan. Let me go live. We're poor Azhar Ali Bichara, just the Pakistan cricket team morality. Medan is some Hali or a jet. So, ek the chairman saab ne, I would say this was my thing. I feel the second thing is that it's such a, uh, you know, you Pakistan ki tarikh ke ek uh, shagird reh chuke hai. Like, ke the, the, the beauty of a regime, an outgoing regime posting achievements under previous regime. <laughs> I saw that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that I feel just you know again if you're going for a cliche you go for that one and then but what do a like meme template ban gaya na? because Najam Sethi had like a tweet list like he and I think Rambo also had one so I think wo ek bas ek legacy ban gaya ek agar aap chairman ban gaya to you have but to but there was a beauty yeh thi na ke usme unka tha ke signed MOU with <laughs> <laughs> the, the bar was lowered the, the bar yeah. was completely lowered yes for 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 uh, uh, the third thing was that it was a little bit of an esoteric point hai, bagar, you know, for, uh, for somebody who teaches Paul Sai, right? Like, the PCBs, basically the, 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 the instability within the larger government, whose hmm. head, uh, not whose head, but like the Prime Minister is the patron of the PCB. Hmm. And there was a lot of uncertainty which, you know, the, we, I'm sure everybody knows about. Us wajah se, Zaka Ashraf comes in and everyone else who comes in knows that this ride, it's a fun ride, but it's not a long ride. 
यू नो सो आई फेल्ट द अदर ब्यूटीफुल थिंग अबाउट इट इज के जब आप बच्चों को पढ़ाना चाह रहे हैं पॉलिटिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स दे आर लाइक दिस इज सो एब्स्ट्रैक्ट हाउ डज दिस अफेक्ट योर लाइफ एंड यू लाइक दिस दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस I agree with you. I mean, as a political scientist, as a professional political scientist, I have to say the the PP. I mean, am, am I allowed to go political in this podcast? Yes. Uh, the PPP is sort of, uh, you know, in a depthness at running things uh, has become so clear to me in a through Zakar Ashraf in a way that it was never clear to me in my twenty years as a professional political scientist. Jo is bande ki incompetence hai, and it's like not even incompetence. It's sort of willful, you know. Like, आपने जान के ये बुरा किया बेसिकली यू नो समझ लाइक पुटिंग सलमान बट इन कामरान लाइक ऑफ ऑल द नेम्स चूजिंग सलमान बट नो रिलेशन प्लीज टू एनी ऑफ योर ऑडियंस Yeah, those are two very important. You have, you have to wonder why people are questioning those things. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, yeah, I've, I've clearly said stuff that's led them to think that. Uh, but yeah, Salman Bhatt, Kamran Akbal, I mean Wahab Riaz. I, I, these are just like jokers, jo- jokers of, of, of former cricketers. Uh, just don't belong where they where they were put. Uh, you know, some of their decisions in the aftermath made that clear. Um, So yeah, just an all-round shit show, just a total shit show. Okay, so th- those were basically. You, do you have any other categories for for the lowlights? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can do sort of a a, a Marxist sort of labor relations lowlight okay. if you want, okay. uh, yeah. which is sort of what they did to Haris Rauf right at the end of the. Does that qualify as twenty twenty four or twenty twenty three? Okay, brother, you have contract signed. Kiye. उस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में लिखा हुआ है कि यू कैट बाय द वे दैट्स अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट दे नाउ यूजिंग टू स्क्रू हिज नेम सेक मोहम्मद हारिस कि आपने दो लीग खेलनी है व्हाट्स योर प्रॉब्लम उसी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पे जो हारिस राव कह रहे कि भाई मेरे दो लीग नहीं हुए हैं बीबीएल पे जाना है यू नो हफीज फर्स्ट सेइंग कि पहले टेस्ट खेलो फिर टेस्ट वो वहां गया है तो उसको एनओसी नहीं मिल रहा आई मीन दिस इज जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड यू नो This is not really a disclaimer, but this is, this is you know, I hundred percent support what Imad did and what Amir did, and I think Pakistan cricket is walking into a very dark space without knowing it. Uh, perhaps the uh, West Indies' kahal hai. Basically, we're going to be that with twenty times the population, basically, uh, because if you're a Muhammad Haris, if you're Azam Khan, to forget him, but if you're Muhammad Haris, if you're Saim Ayub, and you were dropped, you know, for this ridiculous reason, uh. Why would you stick around for this nonsense? Like, why, why, Harris Rauf? Like, if you have one skill set which is bowling four overs really well, and that skill set pays, and on the other hand, you're getting your patriotism question, you're getting your heart question, you're getting your professionalism question. So, uh, yeah, you know, I I think that we're sort of walking into a very dangerous, very dangerous space right now. I think this pay is is part pay, and then. पॉडकास्ट भी पहले गुफ्तु की थी कि क्रिकेट का सिर्फ आई थिंक पाकिस्तान ही नहीं जो इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट का मुस्तबिल है उस पर हर जगह यही सवाल उठेगा ना क्योंकि आपके पास आईपीएल को आपने एक तरीके से नॉर्मलाइज किया हुआ क्रिकेट के स्ट्रक्चर के अंदर तो वहां पे जो इनविटेबल टेंशन होती है वो अभी तक नहीं उठी मगर ये बाकी हर जगह होगा और जो जी डार्क फेज वाली बात कर रहे हो मतलब आई थिंक जो फैंस हैं you know so i was thinking about this today that you know one thing that we share is kind of being those like this generation that we didn't grow up with the psl so sure you can get into it or whatever but it's not kind of the same um but bhai ye sochta tha ki bhai agar aap 8 9 saal ke hain aur aapne pehli dafa ghar wale sab lahore karachi ka match dekh rahe the and that's how you kind of get into cricket you know the psl is as important to you as pakistan cricket is and just like you said ke you know the haris rose skill base within the psl like even if you're lahore which is a hopeless franchise char saal ke andar ekdam se wo back to back jeet gaye hain teen dafa final aa gaye whatever right so uska jo fans ke liye bhi you know mai kafi arse se ye baat kiye ja raha hu ke it's not just ke aapke ye jo sawal haris rose pe uthe kuch arse baad fans bhi yahi kar rahe honge ke yaar hum kyun dekhe pakistan ke matches jahan acche player khilaye nahi ja rahe hain jahan पुराने समाने क्रिकेट खेल रहे हैं या वही बाबों को आपने हर जगह बिठा दिया है 
so i i meri nazar mein matlab i don't know man guess ko main dark place kehta hu but sure like i think the idea of the pakistan national cricket side um uh, is in peril um and i think it's important for pakistan as a cricketing country to kind of you know uh make sure that it's a sustainable career here. but that that's another podcast i want to go back to the year that was meri ke tension ye hai ke obviously all pakistani cricket years are horrible but this was comedy not tragedy hmm. would you agree or disagree uh i mean parts of it were comedic for sure uh but actually it... agar pura iska pura arc dekha jaye na to matlab ke zaka ashraf ka bhi jo wo hai ki the incompetence is staggering magar ke ultimately comedy mein sabse meri murad ye hai ki you know there's no one in jail there's no one there's no kind of stars that have been like at their peaks ostracized or yeah. you know left ki bhai unne langda dula chhod diya hai aapke medical yeah. mein ke matlab काफी सारी ट्रेजिडियां हो सकती हैं जो नहीं हुई Yeah, I guess by that standard, yeah, no one's in jail, no one's been shot, no one's been killed. You know, I guess by that, yeah, by that standard, we're doing all right. I do think that, I mean, if we if we start the year uh, technically with a year, st- which is the G- New Zealand Test at home, which was, you know, it's just technically the start of the year. Really, it was a 2022 thing when we had that bonanza sort of Test season. Uh, I do think that that was tragic. I think it was tragic that we won zero out of eight tests at home against teams that had not visited us in 25 years, and against big market teams. Two of those three teams are, I mean, in the U.S. context, I know you follow U.S. sports recently. The context, the idea of big market versus small market is really important, and I think that's where cricket is going with all this sort of uh, with these franchise leagues and like who can pay and who who can afford all the stuff and who can afford test cricket. Um, So two of these three teams were big market Australia and England and we had a chance to highlight our strengths how good we are I think that we're an underestimated sort of force in world cricket I you know instead of a big 3 maybe it can be a big 3 and a half I think that's where we should stand uh and if we had prepared the pitches uh against Australia England and New Zealand that we had in the previous home season against South Africa uh and won at least a couple of those test matches and had those test victories broadcast into english and australian homes i think it would have been a really big deal i think it could have been the start jo abhi ek conversation ho rahi hai ki west indies haar rahe hai pakistan haar rahe hai test cricket kya hoga i think that conversation could have been changed quite appreciably if we had out of those eight test won four lost two and drawn two or something but because we were blanked uh i do i do have a very sort of bitter taste in my mouth from from those from those tests uh you know so i i i do think that there's sort of a tragic aspect there but uh, see, this is this is actually yahi mera in fact contention hoga ki agar aap jail or whatever ko bhi nikal de purely cricket pe bhi dekhe na to jo 2022 mein hua what you're describing if, if new zealand is technically if we look at it as that way then you don't include hmm. it in the 23 right hmm. that's tragic that's precisely what you just pointed yeah. out i feel that's tragic ke yeah. aapke paas itne arse baad ek tha the team buri nahi thi aur ramiz raja ka jo tenure hai and i'm still content that like that's in so many ways he's amazingly managed to make things worse for the long term you know he's yeah. had that kind of role the last time he was ceo or is dafa bhi chairman ban gaye aur um is he is he but like i think you know ke jo what he did again like with the pjl was Well, that was tragic. Okay, you yeah. wasting so that, much. No, I, I, I think that was hilarious. So, I mean, let's not. Anyways, um, so, but okay. So, let's just as I said, that if test pe agar aaj hai, to aap ko hata de New Zealand Army series, okay? So, it's a weird way, but I would say Pakistan, like, so we sneakily by Pakistani standards had a good test here, and I'll say this. The Sri Lanka away tests are no joke for anyone. Pakistan yeah, we did really well. That brilliant, brilliant match over there. ठीक है तो ये आपका एक एक you know hipster choice जो लोगों को याद रहेगी. मगर जो in many ways this was like the least worst Australia tour <laughs> in a while. Yeah. Um. कम खास तौर पे अगर आप ये देख अगर आप सिर्फ scorecard देख लें और आप फिर लोगों को दिखाएं in the future कि ये ये team है थी. I think almost no one would. correlate this squad with these scorecards kyunki score yeah. score line to sabki same thi sab team ne haar ke aaye 
मगर ये टीम जिस तरीके से हारी थी जिस जो मैच उसके उतार चढ़ाव था लाइक इट वाज वेरी वेरी गुड वुड यू बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक अबाउट द टेस्ट सी इट्स हार्ड टू बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक अबाउट द टेस्ट टीम बिकॉज़ वी प्ले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी प्ले सो फ्यू टेस्ट Yeah. Our test team is in such disarray. We just appointed a captain who I think did really well, but he's 35 and he's not especially well liked by I think other members of the team or other. I think he's like you know the term "parchi" is thrown around. I think really unfairly, but I'm kind of a Sean, uh, sort of a Sean Stan. But like you know, uh, I think his future as captain, even though he, I think he did well in Australia, is sort of up in the air. Uh, I think our bowling resources in red ball is are really really light, especially the way we handle our fast bowlers. uh like i don't think nasim or shaheen getting injured is an anomaly uh given how we handle our our assets um so yeah i i would agree that you know on paper it was a very heartening result we saw a captain who was tactically aware uh we saw a couple of young sort of fast bowlers you know make their make their name uh but there were some pretty big disappointments honestly like babar not even getting past 40 or whatever it was you know Yeah, you can say he's under a lot of mental pressure in the captaincy in the World Cup and Zaka Ashraf and audio leaks and all this stuff. And you know, I you know I totally stand by that. That's all fair. But in six innings to not even pass forty or whatever it was was like, come on, man, we need you. Like we, this team really needed him. Um, you know, Saud was a bit disappointing. You know, I didn't think he'd look sort of like Fawad Alam the second. Uh, I thought he had a better technique. Uh, it looks like, you know. I thought was a typical jo kehte hain ki Asian batter you know Australia mein jaake struck I thought that that was unfair to both Abdullah and Saud and it turned out not to be unfair at least to Saud uh so I thought that part was disappointing obviously our fielding was a total joke and here I will contrast with our Sri Lanka you know if you ask for a highlight uh you know if we can go there the highlight for me for these for this year would have been a couple of those close catches in Sri Lanka uh at short leg that Abdullah and uh, Imam of all people were taking and they were like not just coming to, they were like moving with the moving with the batsman as he was coming down the track and you know st- sticking out the hand and reflex catches or shan direct hit run out kar raha hai ye wo so i feeling in sri lanka was awesome and i don't think that it was a coincidence that grant bradburn was that was our first test tour under bradburn when he was a uh, head coach after having been fielding coach in our past obviously when zaka came and fired all these people in in his esteemed wisdom put in someone like mohammad afiz who has zero coaching experience Uh, और ये तो कॉमेंट्री पे भी कह रहे थे कि यू नो इनकी जो फील्डिंग ड्रिल्स है 1980 से निकली नहीं है यू नो सो आई थॉट दैट वाज रियली डिसअपॉइंटिंग आई थॉट इफ वी हैड हेल्ड आवर कैचेस वी कुड हैव वन अ टेस्ट इफ नॉट द सीरीज फ्रैंकली इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया सो लॉन्ग स्टोरी शॉर्ट आई यू नो या यू आर राइट दैट देयर वाज सम ग्रीन शूट्स देयर इट सॉर्ट ऑफ रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ द 2004 2005 ऑस्ट्रेलिया टूर वेयर आल्सो वी लॉस्ट 3 नेल बट देयर वाज अ लॉट ऑफ यंग प्लेयर्स आइरोनिकली द एफर मेंशन सलमान बट इन कामन अकमल डिड रियली वेल ऑन दैट टूर uh and so that was also a team that people thought oh we lost 3 nil but there's something to build for the future and uh you know but i just think that we play so few tests we we play basically uh five tests between in a period of 18 months from january 23 to august 24 and that's if we play bangladesh by the way which i don't think we will but january 23 to august 24 we play five tests two in sri lanka and three in australia so I don't think we get enough reps to put in you know whatever the gains were from Australia we can't reinvest those gains mm-hmm. into our team because by the time the team you know by the time the team's playing test cricket you know it's a different situation altogether So um and in K20s internationals at least are mere khayal mein closest thing to international football in the sense ke जब उनके मैचेस होते भी हैं नेशनल टीमों के तो आपको पता होता है कि ये प्रोबेबली वो टीम नहीं है जो खेलेगी वर्ल्ड कप में और वर्ल्ड कप इज रियली द ओनली थिंग यू केयर अबाउट टी ट्वेंटीज पाकिस्तान आल्सो प्लेड वेरी फ्यू टी ट्वेंटीज आई डोंट रियली सी द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कसिंग दोस व्हिच ब्रिंग्स अस देन टू द ओडीआई सर्किट एंड रियली द वर्ल्ड कप आई थिंक अगेन लाइक एवरीथिंग एल्स दैट हैपेंड वाज रियली नॉट इंडिकेटिव ऑफ एनीथिंग लार्जर I think ये जो इस शो पे भी और पे एस पे सी आर के हमारे ग्रुप पे भी हमारा जो सबसे वो है कि जो एशिया कप में रेन डिले आया था इन रेट्रोस्पेक्ट दैट वॉज द पीक ऑफ पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट राइट क्योंकि आपने उससे पहले पाकिस्तानी फास्ट बॉलर्स ने इंडिया के खिलाफ एक बड़ी क्रेजी 
बॉलिंग करा रहे थे और वो मतलब था कि आप एक का ओवर खत्म होता दूसरा आ जाता है खत्म ही नहीं हो रहा है देर ऑल सेक्सी इन डिफरेंट वेज लाइक द एवरीथिंग वाज गोइंग ब्यूटीफुली देयर वाज विराट कोहली मीम्स um and then you know it all fell apart um but yeah what are your takes on the world cup like ke usse pehle kitni ummeed thi cuz mujhe thoda sa yeh dar tha ki jab pakistan is a dark horse that's not good news for us anyways um but yeah what what were your takeaways yeah i think you're right ke in hindsight that sort of when india was 60 for 4 or 50 for 4 or whatever it was like that was our peak that was our that was the peak of our year basically वो क्रिक इन फोर चला रहे हैं प्रोफाइल चला रहे हैं पाकिस्तान स्पेस अटैक एंड दिस इन द बेस्ट स्पेस अटैक एंड लिटिल दे दे नो दैट नसीम वाज गोइंग टू गेट इंजर्ड दैट हारिस इज एक्चुअली जस्ट अ फोर ओवर बोलर एंड देन शाहीन इज नाउ बेसिकली अबे कुरुविला और देवर शिफ्ट मोहंती और सम ऑफ दोस इंडियन फास्ट बोलर्स वी मेड वन ऑफ गोइंग अप टू वन के 128 रन लूज द वर्ल्ड कप आई जस्ट थिंक दैट वी वर इट द होल द होल टाइम आई कुड नॉट शेक द फीलिंग दैट वी वर एन एग्जॉस्टेड टीम इट दे जस्ट लुक टायर्ड टू मी they just yeah. look really really tired i think all the travel with the asia cup i think the mental stress of the zaka because all those shenanigans started before the world cup like there was a sort of inquisition that he had mickey arthur grant bradburn and babar uh, where they had this big meeting it was broadcast on the pcb youtube channel as well misbah was there misbah then talked about that meeting at the in the pavilion show and during the world cup ke humne unko ye kaha tha ye kaha tha so sort of you know putting the subtle pressure under them that you know we already told them how to fix this problem and they didn't fix it so it's on them um so you know some of these the sort of mental strain of of uh, our the the pcb and what they were doing but yeah i really think that we were just a tired team uh when we got to india uh and we just looked tired the whole tournament frankly uh 50 overs just see, it just seemed like yeah it reminded me when i was a kid for fielding kar rahe ho garmi mein and you just hope yeah ye 40 over khatam nahi ho rahe you know and it just our team just looked like they were just used to the 20 over model first of all then i and i also think that yeah all the travel the sri lanka he, like i think our players were managed really badly in the three months before the idea that winning a test series sri lanka great but then for half our team to go sign up for the lpl of all the leagues in the world like lanka premier league like with all due respect you know to sri lanka like i thought that was a bad idea to play three odis in afghanistan in the middle of sri lanka's hum- heat and humidity in august that to play and to play your full strength team in those three odis ye bhi nahi ke rest karwa karwa rahe ho uh that was a mistake and then obviously i mean we know the politics behind the so called hybrid model uh i don't think najam sethi had a choice frankly it was either do that or not have any world cup uh, not have any asia cup games in pakistan uh but the the the, the sum total of all that was yeah our, our players were fl- playing 50 overs flying that night getting into a city the next morning playing the day after that and uh, you know i don't think they have it in them i don't think that these are like uber athletic i don't think they have the nutritionists and the thing of real madrid or manchester united ke you know that they can do all that so so yeah they, we just looked a physically exhausted team i thought we were i thought we had a chance before the world cup but then as soon as i saw us you know it just i just got bad vibes it didn't look like a world cup winning team yeah i think i give me even news baat hai pakistan बिल्कुल थके हुए थे एंड आई फील मतलब मेरा मेरे लिए वर्ल्ड कप एक तरीके से वैसे ही इतना खराब हो चुका था कि यू नो एशिया कप और वर्ल्ड कप इसी बात की मिसाल थे ना कि क्रिकेट इज नॉट अ सीरियस स्पोर्ट राइट टू पैराफ्रेज लोगन रॉय इज जस्ट नॉट लाइक आई लव इट बट इट्स नॉट सीरियस स्पोर्ट लाइक ये हमें नहीं खेलना है इनके साथ हम यहाँ नहीं खेलेंगे हम वहाँ खेलेंगे इस वक्त नहीं खेलेंगे तब तुम लोग इस बंदे को लाओ अच्छा कल चलो यहाँ रख लेते हैं ये ऐसे चल रहा है एशिया कप चल रहा है ठीक है क्रैक पॉट है वर्ल्ड कप भी ऐसे ही चल रहा था मतलब सवा लाख बंदे का स्टेडियम खाली पड़ा हुआ है इंग्लैंड न्यूजीलैंड खेल रहा है उसके अंदर एंड यू नो लाइक यू कैन फिल स्टेडियम क्रिकेट स्टेडियम इन इंडिया आई आई डोंट नो वॉट टेल यू मैन लाइक दैट्स that's not that's something that's really kind of worrying for the world cup for cricket like usme aur usi mein matlab wohi you know ke it's it's not just matlab aapka kaisa acha koi mukabla hoga agar jo ek jo sari choti team hai unko kuch nahi pata ke kal ko 
will they be getting there's no pathway essentially right you're working in a job that there's you know there's a glass ceiling and that's yeah. it and um and then you've got like these small teams that are running around twitter to post trying to get like enough matches versus you know like uh trust chima to have the dis- depressing uh kind of insight but like basically pichle char world cups big three na host kiye aur big three ne jeete um until thankfully australia <laughs> broke that trend um yeah. so i think yeah so and then so then was sare mein was just it's just in some ways it's hard to kind of get pumped about something that you know exactly what's going to happen with uh which i feel i mean this league mera zaati masla bhi hai ki ab main cricket se isi wajah se tang aa chuka hu but matlab is saal with this world cup with this asia cup like matlab mazak khatam ho gaya tha na ke uh khullam khulla ko pass chal raha tha which meant that yeah like i i feel there was the, for the first time in my lifetime at least like when i look at some pakistani batters it feels like ke ye they they could be on the cutting edge right like uh we didn't bring him up in the test series but like that sign a u30 <laughs> you know ke matlab wo wo feeling a bottle karke you just put it away in the cabinet of, of like small yeah. hopes like yeah. um and even matlab wo jo shrilanka wala match tha ke jis uh, jo test match tha ya jo is pakistan ne new zealand ke khilaf crazy the put louis assisted chase kiya ho to me at least like yeah, it's been a bit crazy of late to see batting be semi reliable ish and semi modern ish you know okay okay i think uh the fact that you were disappointed with what happened uh with with uh with sign uh, sorry not sign uh kya naam hai sorry the other left the middle order uh, uh the the middle order guy uh khair blanking completely but point is the fact that we were disappointed oh. with those plays south south oh. city um is is uh is testament to the fact that yeah like that there is there's something worth looking at with these guys i think with the bowling it's been wait the seam shy injured just ended all kind of tragedy uh oops got the possibility be there right but um keeping all of this kind of in mind what are you thinking about like with the next world cup coming like the now the 20 world cup yeah the one that is in the us they got talent to hai agar i mean this is always the case with us if we actually use the resources we can win the we can win the whole thing like we we have enough talent to win it and that's not you know again me being a park nationalist you know on cricket like if you play our best team it's a world cup winning team if you our best team is saim and haris opening which is never going to i mean the rizwan press conference from last week was just you know nazi germany would invent a time machine to take lessons from rizwan on propaganda uh honestly that was just an infuri and what i hate about rizwan i really love his on field i love how pugnacious he is i love how he stands up for us i love how in australia he was the only one who looked like he gave a shit you know So there's so many things to love about Rizwan, you know. But like this calculating, like super, frankly selfish, you know, view of K, as if him and Babar have been bequeathed this right to open forever, or you know, was ne ashan ki hai ki he was just like ki Babar ne Babar ka bada dil hai ki us like dude, it's not his call, man, you know. So I. Yeah, I just yeah. So so that that press conference was was really frustrating. But yeah, if we actually play our best team, which is Simon Harris opening, Babar at three, uh, Fakhar and Rizwan floating in the middle order, depending on their left right power play not power play. Shadab at six, Nawaz at seven, uh, and then four fast bowlers. You know, uh, Nasim, Shaheen, Harris. You can play. You can put Wasim in there if Hasanullah gets fit and you want to. sort of x factor you can put him in there uh you know so there's a lot of fle- but yeah you have to open with simon harris if you want to do something in a tournament uh so it, as always with us you know it's the question is what are, how are we using our resources what is the management is the management a 2023 or 2024 management or is it a captain ye jo t20 ki tumne banayi i mean i presumably they're not going to take shaheen 
they're not going to remove Shaheen from captaincy, presumably. Okay. With, so you, you, okay, so Shaheen is I'm captain. Okay with Shaheen. I'm okay with Shaheen as captain. I, pr- frankly, I think Shadab is our best T20 captain. Going by the PSL and going by statements and sort of how tethered you are to modern tactics and sort of, you know, how much you seem to understand the modern game. I think Shadab is well ahead of... Uh, I actually don't I don't know if this was on a podcast of yours or one of your your dunya show but I I actually disagree with one of your guests I think recently there was a you were having a conversation I don't remember where it was but something to the effect of this sort of conglomerate of Shaheen Babar Rizwan and Shadab is sort of one and the same and they're all replaceable and if one is captain it's as good as the other one being captain I totally disagree with that I think Babar and Rizwan are the same uh, and I think Shadab is sort of on a different sort of extreme, and then Shaheen is somewhere in the middle. Uh, but Shadab is a modern, I mean, he's the Islamabad United data, you know, the Chima and Rehan style guy. And so if he was captain, I would have no doubt that, that Simon Harris would be opening. And I don't even know if both Babar and Rizwan would play in such a team. I mean, yeah. you know. Well, so, maybe, so in this fantasy team, maybe you didn't go all the way and, and drop. Either one of them. Jabke, ek aap I, mean, strong I, should, I mean, Babar, Babar, is a, Babar has to be three, right? You, dropping a Babar, now, now we've gone, now, that, then that becomes, you know, the, like, that, that's, that, that's when you go from saying, oh, I want to vote for Bernie, Bernie Sanders to I want to vote for whoever that third party. No, that, no, no. That, no, no. That so, on the T20 side, mein do do angle khela na tum Bernie nee, Sanders. Nee, 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 I'm saying ke Babar has to play it. I think... Babar at three, I think, is a really good equilibrium for him because he can bat from overs five through 17 and say, look, that's 72 balls. Your aim should be to make 100 off those 70 balls if you can, right? Obviously, it's not going to happen, but that should be your mindset. Rizwan, I think, actually has improved his attacking game. And I think a little bit of the strike rate sort of discussion has gotten to both him and Babar in that Rizwan does compared to maybe two years ago or even a year or 18 months ago, does attempt a few more attacking strokes. But boy, may ability nahi hai. He can't hit boundaries on the offside after the power play because he, he literally doesn't have the ability. So that's why I think he should be floated with, with, with uh, Fakhar, depending on right, left, Yevo. The other thing is, it's not like where there's a lot of talent beating down the, you know, beating down the door for the middle order spots. Like I mean, that's so embarrassing that he's our hitter, but you just have to bring some lallu pallu spinner and he can't hit it. Then you say, okay, well, Azam Khan's a spin hitter, but then, first of all, he averages like three. And secondly, you know, you bring a pace guy on, he can't, you know, so it's just like one guy can't hit spin, one guy can't hit pace. I, Asif Ali was in that role a couple of years ago. He couldn't play the bouncer. It was a big problem when you took him to Australia. So at that five, six sort of hitter role between Shadab and the sort of the top order, I'm happy to drop Rizwan, but you've got to give me a better name than Rizwan, you know. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I think, I mean, here I think in format, even though we look T20s, we always have a dangerous team. I think mostly because Pakistan, ki bowling resources, uh, you know, play out better in a, in, in a limited kind of thing. Like bowling in general, I think plays out better. In that situation, maybe, and you know, like the edges basically can come out. Uh, the margins are are defined by bigger quality, etc. But I think ODI, I think that T20s are going to be a little bit more than a little bit of 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 a little maybe if the pitch is there, like everyone should be looking at, yeah. uh, you know, a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a unrealistic hmm. thing that I'm talking about. Um, yeah. It happens and, you know, like, I feel that we're uh, that way. It'll be very, I don't necessarily even think that we don't have to change Pakistan cricket in the night and night and we'll start to take a look at it. But with PSL, maybe there's a way to make a way to make a way that, you know, incentivizes you to do that. Um, but, but, okay, so, so that's been, you know, all the all, all the kind of big picture stuff. Um, anything else from from the last year? I think like I thought, um, Zaka Ashraf also the KD on field achievements. Think that your women's team ne uh, South South Africa ko haraya tha or clean sweep kya tha etc. Did you catch any of those matches? Have you been 
tuned into that uh, into the women's team? Not really. I mean, it's usually on in the background uh, because I have Willow TV here in America, so it's on in the background all the time. But I haven't been following it closely. Okay. Yeah, because I I think again, Gavi Thakur uh another kind of tragic kind of thing is that there had been some momentum of doing exhibition games for the women during the PSL, which the Dafa I think was there. वो अभी फिर वो नहीं हो रहा था विच ब्रॉडकास्टिंग फॉर द वेमेंस टीम ऑल्सो वॉज वॉज यू नो नॉट ग्रेट बट वही ये ये काफ़ी अब अवे फ्रॉम द काइंड ऑफ हेडलाइंस इशूज भी रहे एट द बिग पिक्चर बींग एटलीस्ट दे डेड वेल दे वेल देड ग्रेट विन्स इन न्यूजीलैंड इज वेल Uh, and they seem to be doing more tours i mean like i said i'm not following closely yeah. but jo jo thodi bahut news aati hai they seem to be doing more foreign tours which i think is really good for their development yeah well yeah well hopefully we'll we'll get a chance to do that in more detail on the show in a future episode but um theek is as in any kind of uh zooming out of 2023 you know um let me ask you this you you both have been following cricket together online for like Very long time now. Um, where where do you see the next? Like, are you excited about the next five years? Are you resolved to being? I'm actually very trepidatious. I'm actually very trepidatious. I'm actually yes, very trepidatious. Nice. I'm a traditionalist. I uh, I'm a big Test cricket fan. Uh, I abhor the big threeification of cricket. Uh, all the things that you have been talking about all this man with the scheduling and it's not a serious sport and you can choose who you play and you can choose where you play and just the unevenness in scheduling and and it's just come to a head south Af- with the south africa situation in new zealand that everyone's talking about that seems to have served as a so the one sort of bright line one sort of silver lining to to this tragic tragedy i think might be that the south africa situation i think has really opened up a lot of sort of the casual observers like the mark was of the world who only know australian cricket but don't know anything outside of australian mm-hmm. cricket to sort of wake up and like oh shit this is actually going on uh so if it does serve as a wake up call maybe there's something maybe there's some benefit that can be garnered from it but uh other than that as a test cricket fan i'm very very uh fearful frankly of what the sport is going to look like in 5 or 10 years uh i forget 5 or 10 years what it looks like right now like i said we're playing five tests between jan 23 and august 24 like that's a ridiculous number uh you know uh five tests is what australia england and india play in a summer like you know so <laughs> so it's just it's yeah and then uh yeah all this league stuff it does you know it's part of it is exciting you know part of it is yeah you see new talent and you get to see, the cricket is on all the time so as somebody who likes just having the tv on in the background it's fun for me because there's just like cricket on all the time so but then also it's like totally meaningless and valueless cricket like I, you know the difference between the ilt20 and the bbl and the sa20 and the bb it's just like for me is like you know it doesn't really matter and the idea that i would be emotionally invested in any of these teams or any of these players is totally fanciful uh so yeah not to be depressing or despondent but uh, if we're taking a global sort of view of of the of the game uh, i don't think it's in a healthy place at all uh, and a lot of the things that people have been people like you have been warning about for 10 years have very predictably come to fruition so here we are yeah a beautifully depressing <laughs> like, but uh, sn thank you so much for this um this this was really fun um in to be fair like i feel ye isliye main logon ko therapy karne ke bhi bolta na cuz main soch raha tha ki once this episode ends i'll be really sad but i actually feel pretty good i feel like yeah this this was a bit weird <laughs> but i'm glad okay. i'm uh, glad yeah so no it was, a, it was such an honor it was such a pleasure to be here emer i love your podcast i love all your work it was a really pleasure uh, thank you so much man this is really kind of you sn um It's great doing the episode with you. Hopefully, we'll have you back again on uh, sometime in the future. Uh, but up to the career, that's it. And uh, hopefully, within a week, I'll be back with something more. But uh, far, still then, for the house.